Hey everyone! In a previous video series, I showed off a number of different ways of interacting with the Windows Clipboard Manager, as well as a free tool that I love and use, uh, which is called the Ditto Clipboard Manager, that I find makes me much more productive, and it's something that I use every day all the time on my computer. Um, so from that video, a lot of people liked the video, and there was a lot of questions and comments, so I thought I would make this second video to address some of the questions that people had and show off some more features in Ditto that they were asking about or didn't know existed. Um, so here, uh, are the, I have Notepad up, and it's just a list of things that I'll want to show you today. Um, so to start off, if you don't know what Ditto is, maybe you haven't seen the previous video, I would go check that out as well as this video. Um, but if you're wondering what it is, um, it's this little window right here where anytime I copy something, it adds it to my clipboard manager. And so if I want to uh, paste something that I copied in the past, I can look for it in my list of things, find it, and just select it like this, just testing, and then I can paste it in. That's what Ditto is in a nutshell. Okay, so here, uh, one question people had is can I select multiple or paste multiple things? And yes, you can. Uh, so you can use the control key and you can just select multiple things and then you can just do control C to copy them and come down and paste them and you can see it pasted all three of the clips that I had selected. Um, you can also use the shift key instead of control. So here I'll select uh, this one and then hold the shift down and select that one. You can see you can select multiple uh, and then the same sort of thing just control C to copy them and then you can come in and paste them wherever you like. Uh, you can also delete clips. So maybe you copied a password or some sensitive information that you don't actually want in your clipboard manager. You can just right click on it and say delete. And now it's gone. And same sort of thing. You can select multiple and delete multiple items. You can even use control A to select everything in the clipboard manager. And then you could uh, delete everything. Uh, one big question that a lot of people had was, Every time I copy a new, a new piece of text or anything, it always puts it at the top of the list. And I don't want that to happen. There's some, there's some text or something that I want to keep always at the top of the list so that it's easily accessible. Um, is there a way to do that? And in Ditto, yes, there is. So here, let's maybe just take this one. Uh, we can right click on it and go down to Clip Order. And then if I wanted to, I could just say move to top or move up and it would move it up in this list. But next time I copied something, it would get bumped down again. Uh, what I can instead do is say make top sticky clip. And when it's sticky, uh, you can see it gets a little note uh, beside it. And now it's frozen to the top of the list. So if I select something else and copy it, you can see now when I open up my list again, uh, that it puts the thing that I just copied into the second position. Um, so if I went ahead and pasted, it would still paste what I just copied. So even though it's not in the number one position, um, it's still, it'll still, copy and paste will still work just like you would expect. But then if, if I want to come and grab this, I can just double click on it and now I can paste it in. And so that's a way to keep things uh, stuck to the top of the list. Um, you can also stick more than one thing. So maybe I want, uh, these two things. Let's right click on them, say clip order and make top sticky. So now they're all three of these things are stuck in the clipboard list at the top. Um, and anytime you make a sticky one, it'll add it to the top. But if you maybe want to add it to the bottom of the list, you can do that as well. So right click clip order, say make last sticky clip. And here it'll put it in the fourth position instead of the first position. Okay. And then, uh, maybe if you're done with it, you don't want them to be sticky anymore. You can just select one or all of them, say clip order, and remove sticky setting. And now none of them are sticky anymore. The other thing people were asking about was, can I make groups? Like maybe there's uh, groups of clips that I need to access sometimes. Um, like once a month I need to do this report or submit, um, yeah, submit a report or fill out a form or something like that. And I always need these five or 10 things ready on hand to copy and paste. Uh, so Ditto also does support groups. So if you right click, you can say groups and view groups. Uh, usually the first time you do this, all it will say is no group. And uh, just sort of the default dumping ground is the root level. It's just everything gets dumped in the no group group. Um, if you want though, you can go ahead and right click on one, say groups, and you can say move to group. And then you can select an existing one if there is one, or you can create a new group. So we'll just say testing, 
say OK. And so now you can see it has this little, uh, looks like a download icon behind it, but that, or beside it, and that shows that it's part of a group. Um, and so you can either right click and say view groups, or you can use the keyboard shortcut control G. And so now you can see there's two groups. And so where you might want to use this is I just have a work group here that I just created. And if we look in it, I have my office's phone number, their fax number, and their address in it. Um, because normally I would have to go to our corporate website all the time to find this information. Uh, this way I can just stick it here and it's always readily accessible when I need it. Because sometimes you need it for registering for a conference or submitting a report or whatever. Um, the groups also support nesting. Uh, which is another thing. So here I can right click and I can say I want a new subgroup. So this is actually the Regina office is the one that I'm at. We also have, you know, you might have an office in Vancouver or Winnipeg, wherever. Um, but so now if I do control G to view my groups, now we have nested groups. And so these ones, if I want, I can select them all, right click groups, uh, move to group, and I'm actually going to move them all to the Regina office group. And so now I can dig into here and now they're all in here. And so this is just showing you if you want, you don't have to use groups. Uh, I typically don't use groups and I haven't used them forever, but some people might find them uh, convenient. They're a convenient way to group your information. Uh, the next thing I wanna show is just the position that Ditto opens in. So you'll notice here, if you watch my mouse, if I move it to the left and open my window, uh, Ditto, the main window opens, always opens wherever my mouse happens to be. And that's just the setting that I like, and you can change that though. So if you go to the dot, dot, dot in options, uh, there's three options. So mine is at cursor, that's at the mouse cursor is where it'll open up. You can choose at caret if you want. And so this will be whenever you're on a text field, like here I am in notepad, you can see my caret is blinking there. So even though I put my mouse over to the right, if I open up ditto, uh, the main window will always open wherever the caret happens to be. Uh, so some people might like that better because then you know exactly where it's going to paste the text. It's kind of a nice little tip uh, of where the text will be pasted that you select. Uh, the other option is you can just have it remember the position. So maybe you always want the window to open in the same place. And if you want that, just choose at previous position. And so now when I open up my Ditto window, I can go throw it maybe over here on the top right and we'll close it. And the next time I open it, even though my mouse and caret are over on the left, it'll always open on the right hand side. So we'll just drag the window to wherever you want it to be and it'll always open there uh, next time. Okay. Uh, so like I said, I just personally like mine to open where my mouse is. So I'm just going to reset that. Uh, the other thing that a lot of people were asking about is global hotkeys. They would say something like, um, in the last video, I showed how you can easily access these top 10 items and set up short key, uh, shortcut keys for them, but you still had to open this main window first before you could access uh, those first 10 clips. And so there is a way though, if you want to set up a global hotkey, you can do that. So you don't have to actually open the main ditto window. And to do that, you just go over to the keyboard shortcut tabs or tab in the options. And down here, you'll see there's global hotkeys. And so right here is where you would set up your global hotkeys for the first 10 positions. So you might do like control shift one for position one, control shift two, control shift three, four, etc. Whatever hotkey you want to use. If you want to use the windows key as part of your keyboard shortcut, just check off the little win box. Uh, but let's say okay. And so here now, if let's take a look in my clipboard, let's say I want to paste what's in spot number three without opening the window, I can just do control shift three and it pastes what was in my third clip. Um, the global hotkeys are a little finicky just in that I can do control shift three and it'll paste, but if I still hold down control and shift and just hit three again, it just puts the number three. You actually have to release all of the keys to control shift three again uh, to paste. So just be aware of that. Uh, yeah, so if you want to set up those global hotkeys, uh, that is super handy, especially if you combine it with the sticky tabs. So if you had something stuck in the number one spot, you could just access it anytime with control shift one and paste it. If you want to use hotkeys, but don't want to have to use sticky clips or worry about the position of the clip, uh, Ditto's got you covered there as well. So you can just pick your clip, you can right click on it and go to properties 
And here you'll see a few things. If you want to edit the clip, you can do that. Um, but at the top, notice how we have a hotkey. So here, I'm just gonna say Control-Alt-S will be my hotkey. Let's say OK. And you can see now it put a little key icon uh, beside the clip showing that it has a hotkey assigned to it. So if I come down into my notepad and I do Control-Alt-S, nothing happens. And if I paste, it doesn't have it in the clipboard. Um, instead though, if I open up Ditto, and now I do Control-Alt-S, now it's put it on my clipboard and I can paste it. And there it is. Um, so if you want to be able to uh, paste without having to open Ditto though, if you want to make it a global hotkey, you can do that as well. So let's right click on this again. Uh, once again, go to properties and just check off the hotkey available globally uh, box there and then say okay. So I'll put something else on the top of my clipboard. So now this is at the top, uh, but I can still paste that one directly if I now just do control alt s and it pastes it in. Uh, so that's awesome. You can have both global and non-global hotkeys depending on if you want to open up the ditto window or not. Uh, the other thing in here that's really cool and handy is, uh, let's go back in the properties window. I'm just going to wipe out my hotkey so we don't have one anymore. Uh, but this quick paste text is pretty neat as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put in a quick paste text of survey. You'll notice survey is nowhere in this clip. Um, but let's just do that. And so uh, let's open Ditto again. I can search for survey. And you'll notice it didn't actually come up. And that's because the quick paste uh, requires you to instead put slash Q at the front. And then you can start typing the name of your, your quick pa paste text. And so uh, you don't even have to type the full thing. Here I only did SQR. I didn't type survey but it has it right there, it's the only one listed. I can say hit enter to choose it and paste it in. Uh, so that's really cool. If you don't want to have to remember to type slash Q uh, before your quick paste text all the time, you can come into the ditto options, the dot dot dot, and go to the search options and just make sure search quick paste is checked off. So if you look at that again now, it should be checked off, yep it is. And so now you can go ahead and just type survey and ours will show up in the list of results. Uh, just be aware though, it won't always pre-select that one. So let's just search again for survey. And so here it has it pre-selected. If I hit enter, it does have it on the clipboard, but I found it's very hit and miss. Sometimes when I load it and I type survey, it, it would have a different one selected, or if one came before it in the list, it would just select the first one in the list as you would expect. Um, so that's kind of hit and miss. So just be aware of that. Uh, the other thing I'll maybe just mention while we're here is uh, you can also just quickly move a clip to a certain group if you want. Um, and so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that quick paste text. So the quick paste text is awesome because it means you don't have to remember a bunch of hotkeys. Um, you can just start typing the quick paste text that uh, you're looking for and it'll find it and list it. It's a lot easier to re remember. You don't have to remember specific key combinations. Just remember part of the word that you're searching for and it'll find it. Uh, the other thing people had asked about in the comments was how do I share my clipboard between different computers in my house? And so Ditto does have that. Um, to be perfectly honest, I haven't set that up or I haven't used it myself, um, but it does support it. And it says basically you open up the options, you go to the friends tab here, and assuming that all of your computers are on, are on the same local network, you can just enter their IP address here, something like 192.168.100.2 or whatever the IP address of the other computer happens to be. Um, or you can just use their computer name if you have a friendly name, like maybe, I don't know, uh, living room PC or something like that, whatever your computer happens to be called. But they will have to be on the same uh, network, I believe, for this to work. Um, other people left a few comments in the other video as well saying there's some other methods of sharing the clipboard between computers. Uh, I don't know if I would recommend them, but they said you could do things like uh, store the database file, which is right here. You have your database path. This is where all of the clips, uh, clipboard uh, clips get saved to. They said you could throw this path in like a Dropbox path or your OneDrive path and share that between your two computers. Um, I don't know if I would recommend that because if you go to the stats tab here, you can see my database is almost six gigabytes. And so it would be syncing that six gigabytes between both computers. And 
I'm not sure if every time like you update the database, like just copy a new piece of text, I'm not sure if Dropbox or OneDrive would be smart enough to just update, you know, that one or two kilobytes that changed, or if it's going to try and resync the entire six gigabyte database again. Uh, so I don't know if I would recommend the Dropbox option. You could try it. Let me know if it works uh, in the comments or not, or uh, if you run into any errors. Um, and that's sort of the other downfall I could see with it is if it is trying to sync that database while Ditto is trying to access it or write to it, I imagine you would get some sort of error saying, you know, file is in use, we can't access it. But again, I haven't tried it. I don't know. Uh, maybe it does work just fine. I, I don't know. If you want to try it, though, please go ahead, leave a comment, let me know how it works out. Um, and then the other option, too, was maybe instead of using OneDrive or Dropbox where it has to sync the file between both computers so it lives on both computers, what you could maybe do is if you have a network share in your in your house, um, so just one path that both of the computers can access, you could try putting the database there and then on both of your computers just point the database file at that shared network path. Um, but again, I haven't tried that. I'm not sure if you would run into issues if, you know, if you have people on both computers at the same time copying and pasting stuff, I'm, I'm not sure if you would run into issues there or not. Uh, but just some potential solutions. Like I said, I haven't set this up. I haven't tried it myself. Um, but if you do, please let me know if it works, any struggles you run into, um, any workarounds you find, anything. Please feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, and then just the last thing that I wanted to mention was Ditto has so many options and so many different things it can do. Um, I discovered a few new ones just in preparing for this video. Uh, so don't be afraid to just look around in Ditto and and take a look to see what it has. There's things like uh, the special paste option. So let's open up Ditto, you can right click and you can say paste or special paste. And if you want to, you know, paste everything in all uppercase, let's select that. And now when I paste, everything's capitalized. Uh, similarly, it has uh, a few other options here. The one was slugify. Uh, so if I select that, um, I've called this one kebab case. I don't know, because it looks like a shish kebab, the skewer going through it. Um, <laughs> but there's just some neat things you can do. And you'll notice every time I paste that clip, it keeps the same uh, formatting. So actually, if you want to remove it, you have to right click, go back to special paste, and then choose plain text only. I kind of wish that it would check off on the left side here to show you like which option it was using, because right now it's using slugify, but you have no way of knowing that. Um, so just be aware of that. And if you want to reset it, choose plain text only. And now we're back to the original clip. Um, another really cool one that I just stumbled across was the QR code. So let's open this up. Uh, we'll just pick one and you can go to the import export. And again, you can see there's a whole bunch of different options. I have not played with them all, but the one here is view as QR code. So you can open that up. And now you have a QR code. So if you're making a poster or something like that, maybe you have a hyperlink to a website that you want people to be able to just scan with their phone, uh, just take a screenshot of this and put it up on your posters. Um, so super cool, really neat. There's a ton of features. I know Ditto supports add-ins. I have not looked or played with them, but I know it supports it. So I can only imagine there's still other, tons of other great things you can do with Ditto. Just so I had so many people commenting on my last video that I just wanted to make this one to answer some of those questions and show off some more of the great features that Ditto has. So if you want more of this type of content or you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. Thanks.